Got a little vape mail surprise yesterday from Joytech, the Cuboid Mini. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Joytech has been making some great products lately. Their chip is fantastic. They use it in everything from the Evig VTC Mini to the Cuboid. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that Wismac and E-Leaf are also under the same parent company. So many of the same features, while they may look a little bit different on those other devices, are still coming from that same chipset. So when they put out something new, people pay attention. So this is the Cuboid Mini. It's pretty tiny, especially compared to the original Cuboid. The entire thing with the tank is almost the same size as the cuboid and it's got an internal battery so if you're one of those people that are like i just don't want a mod where i got to charge my batteries externally or whatever so uh this is great for you for that internal battery it's nice and it seems to last a long time i have no idea what the milliamp hour of this battery is because i can't find it in the literature in the manual on the box and it's not on their website at least not last time i checked it could be there now so this is a maximum 80 watt device it does temp control basically everything that the cuboid did but with an internal battery and less wattage which for most people it's going to be fine because most people don't go over 40, 50 watts. Now, one of the big things that they're introducing with this is their notch coil, which is the stainless steel coil. It's basically like a drum of stainless steel with notches laser cut into it. And that's what they're using instead of actual like wire, you know what I mean? So it's pretty sweet. We're also gonna be looking at the Essentials e-liquid. This is from Beard Vape Co. and Craft Vapory. It's a partnership that they did three different flavors. It's basically your morning, afternoon, and night. Let's go ahead and dig in and let me show you. As always, before we get into the hardware, let's take a look at the juice that we're gonna be using today. This is a line called The Essentials, and I really like the packaging on this because it's decidedly like adult. It's not aiming at children or anything like that, so it's kind of nice. Now this set of them was actually sent from Beard Vape Company, and that is who makes this. Beard Vape Company and Craft Vapory have teamed up to do this. I like how they say, we united to identify indispensable flavors that are absent from vaping and could be enjoyed all day, every day, and collaboratively formulated these new favors to exceed even our own impeccable standards, the essentials all day, every day. So basically you have morning, afternoon, and night, and there's the Beard Vape Co. guy. I'll put a link down in the description for that, and let's see. So just real quickly, let's look at the boxes so we can see. This one right here is smelling so good, and I really am I'm trying to decide between this. Lemon drizzled dosant, so like a uh, cronut, that is morning, and then afternoon, is a classic mojito. This one smells good, but out of the three, it's not the one that I'm dying to try. And then this is night, and it's a red velvet cupcake. You know what, man? Since red velvet cupcake is like my favorite kind of cake, well, I think I'm gonna try that one. So got this in three milligrams. That is what the bottles look like. Very classy looking. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. This is the actual device, the Cuboid Mini. And if you ask me, that looks more like a Cuboid than anything else. You know what it looks like? It looks like a little robot. Like a little robot toy or something like that, you know? It's got a little face right there. Now on this one, you'll see that little circle looking thing. I think there's actually, there was a, a cover over this part right here. One of those scratch prevention things that they put on there, you know, when they shipped them. But I couldn't get that off of there and I didn't want to scratch it all up before I showed it to you. So I figured I'll just leave it on there for right now. Well, let me show you the box real quick. This is one of the big things that they're really excited about at Joytech. This is the notch coil that you may have seen Jaybo on with Matt from Suck My Mod talking about that. Uh, and I also showed you one that looks pretty close to that from Horizon Tech on their new Cerakote tank. And as I predicted in some of the comments on that Cerakote video, uh, I've talked to a bunch of other manufacturers and guess what? They're all making those coils right now. So that's just, you know, whoever gets out there first is. So here's a real quick description of the Cuboid Mini. I'll leave this up here for a second. If you want to pause it, you can if you want to read it. And then all of the contents of the box, there's the Cuboid Mini, a Cuboid Mini atomizer, the notch coil, which is the one that they recommend, of course. And you'll notice that it says DL on there. That is direct lung. And then MTL is mouth to lung. So they even tell you which one they're recommending for what style of vaping. Then you got a stainless steel coil, a Clapton coil, and then there's an RBA vertical that's actually all included inside this box. Got two mouthpieces, a USB cable, and a manual and warranty card. This is the silver one. Those are the colors that they come in. That's a lot of stuff inside this box. Of course, it is upgradable firmware, and it says right here, with the new notch coil. Open up the box, and everything looks pretty familiar. That's where the mod was sitting. 
underneath here, warranty card. This is kind of cool. This is something that they give you inside the box to tell you a little bit about the coils. So it says right here, direct lung vapor, mouth to lung, durability, liquid consumption. So they tell you with little thumbs up dealies on each one of the different factors for these different coils. So if you look up here, the notch coil, they say it's great for vapor production, great for direct lung, not as great for mouth to lung, big durability, liquid consumption, it's not so great. Battery consumption, also not so great. So I think that's pretty cool. And then down here on the bottom, it says what kind of vapors would be able to use those coils. So the Cuboid Mini, this is the stainless steel version of it. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Got a little plate on the back here that says Cuboid Mini. Got your fire button over here, plenty of venting. This is an internal battery and nowhere in the manual or anywhere else in the box or anything like that, does it tell me what the milliamp hour of this battery is. It's not a small battery, here, I want to do this. Let's do a couple of comparisons. This is the actual cuboid right here. It's the black one. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see it right there. So it's, it's fatter. It's a little bit wider. It's, it's a bigger, bulkier device. Let's take this tank off of here. Yeah, this is the tank, believe it or not. The actual device is much smaller and you can put whatever tank you want on here. I mean, this is just, you know, it's just, it's just a mod, an 80 watt mod. And then that is it next to the Evic VTC Mini. All right, since we have the tank off here, yeah, this one says sample. We have stainless steel threads on here, spring-loaded pin, and fire button right there. Again, plenty of venting down here, and then that little tiny pinhole right there is for resetting the device. Now, it functions just like the Cuboid or the Evic VTC Mini or, you know, any of the Joytech devices pretty much are using the same chip, and the chip is very good. I really like the chip that they use. They perform good, and they have lots of functions, so I'm not gonna go through every single function on this, but to turn it on, it's five clicks. Oh, the key lock is on. So if you want to turn the key lock off, then you just hold these two buttons down. And now they're unlocked. All right, so you can adjust the wattage up and down. It shows the volt, the coil, the amp, and you can change this bottom one here. If you hit this three times, if you hit the fire button three times, you see I got a lot of fingerprints on here already. It is kind of a fingerprint magnet, but one, two, three. And then that's blinking. So you got bypass mode. You've got NI200, titanium stainless steel that's 316 stainless steel and then of course you've got your tcr so you can go in there and set custom tcr values and then there's your power so when it's in this mode if you go like this then it's going to switch down here to the amp thing in power and you can switch to puff counter or the time or the amps, and we're just gonna leave it on amps. That's pretty much it for the menu functions. I mean, if you wanna see all the menu functions, I've got videos on here of other Joytech products that show that. Uh, even the iStick Pico uses basically the same kind of menu stuff. So just wanted to make sure that we got a chance for you guys to see this thing, and I wanted to test it out. So we've got your USB up here at the top, which is actually very nice. And well, you can set it down, plug it in to charge it. And I'm pretty sure this has the two amp charging ability. So that's the mod itself. Let's look at this tank. Okay, so this is the bottom of the tank. That's your 510 connection. You notice that that is round. Well, it has little set pins right here. There is a uh, Allen key inside the box there and you can loosen those and make it so that you can rotate this thing so that you can get it to line up exactly. That was one of the things I was thinking about. I was like, well, what if it's wonky like that and it's tight and you can't fix it? Well, the way that it works, when I tighten this thing on here, let's see, when I tighten it on here, it goes like that. Now it's it's like just a little bit of overhang there, but if you go and twist it like that, I mean, they've tuned this thing at the factory to fit perfectly, and that is a perfect seamless fit all the way around there. But if you were to do something and it got weird and it was like that when it's all the way tight, you just loosen up those little set screws and then you can turn this and then you tighten them back up when it's perfect on there. So I think that's pretty cool. So it's right up here at the top, Cuboid Mini Joytech. When you get this, this piece right here, this whole top assembly and where the coil goes into is actually inside the bottom of the box. So when you get it, it just looks like that. But what is cool is that it has the design like the AIO that I just showed you earlier today. And you can just take your liquid and actually pour it right in there. You don't have to use a dropper or anything like that. It's, it's pretty sweet. Now they say in the manual that right at the top of that window is the fill level so that it doesn't spill because you got to think about displacement. If you have that liquid filled all the way to the top and then you go to shove this in there, well, it's going to displace the liquid and it's going to be coming out of the top. So I'm going to err on the safe side and go a little bit below that just because I haven't filled this thing yet and I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to have it overflowing and make it a mess. So let's put this on here. Okay. 
It's nice. See, like I said, it looks like a little robot. This is your coil and this is that notch coil. I am not gonna tear it apart because I only have one of them right now and I just don't wanna, you know, I wanna use it. I don't wanna tear it apart. But your airflow is actually coming from right here. It's gonna hit this coil and nice big juice flow holes there. So uh, I tested this thing without filling it and the airflow is actually really good. So your airflow is gonna go up between that middle part and the outside there and this right here is where it's gonna come out. And that is adjustable, so that's nice. So we'll just put the coil on there just like that. On this one, when you're tightening, there are little flat spots right there if you wanna hold it like this, but the airflow gets to the end of the airflow and stops, so you can actually tighten that on there pretty good. As far as the drip tip goes, this whole assembly right here comes out for cleaning, so you can put that back in there. And the drip tip does come out of here, it's a double O-ring. Delrin inside and stainless steel on the outside. Standard drip tip size, so you should be able to put whatever drip tip you want in there. So I'm gonna go ahead with this Knight from Essentials. This is the red velvet cake, oh, red velvet cupcake, excuse me. I'm gonna put just a little bit of liquid on those juice holes. Put the rest of it inside of there. Then we can just take this liquid and pour it right in there. And like I said, I'm gonna air on the safe side about halfway up that window is where I'm gonna leave it. All right, and then as you see, when you put this in there, see the displacement, that is pushing that liquid up. So it looks like I did pretty good with that. Then you just screw that on. I'll clean it up a little bit. I got a little juice on my fingers and stuff, but that looks like a good seal. Like I say, the airflow right here, when you get to the end of it, it does stop so you can twist it on there. It's not childproof like that AIO is. Let's see here. So that's all the way closed. Turn it all the way this way and it's all the way open. So that's pretty cool, man. It's filled up and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that soak for a few minutes and then we'll vape it. Real quickly, you do get your USB cable in here and this USB cable is not only power capable, but it is data capable. So that's important. Your other coils that are in there. And this is the RBA unit. I know a few people are going to wonder about this thing. If you've seen the one for the Cubis tank, well, this is the same type of thing. You got a set screw down here, uh, lots of tight cotton in there. Uh, it's a really small one. I, I tend to not want to build on RBA heads that are tiny like this, but we'll see. I might try it out. I was a whole lot more curious about this notch coil that they've got in here. That's kind of their new flagship thing. So we'll, we'll check it out. Oh, one more thing. So this being a stainless steel coil, I could vape this in power mode all day if I want to. I mean, that's, you know, that's usually how I vape. It's a great thing about stainless steel. Or you could go one, two, three. And now we're up there selecting the different modes. And we'll take it over here to stainless steel 316. And then we will go down here to power. And I'm going to take the power down to about, say, 50 watts. Now, this thing moves really fast when you're doing this. So if you're trying to get a certain, you can't go backwards when you do it, selects a different element on there. So what you want to do is kind of get it close to where you want to go. Oh, look at that. I stopped right on 50. That's crazy. It never happens. Then if you go to coil like that, you can lock the resistance. Now I got a little lock there. So the resistance is locked at 0.25. And we're just going to leave that on amps. So there we go. We're ready to vape this in stainless steel temp control mode. Or like I said, if I want to, I can take it back to the power mode and vape it that way. So yeah, it's definitely an interesting little mod. Like I said, it looks like a little robot. I think it's kind of cool looking. And of course, you can put whatever tank you want on it. This is one of the first times that I've gotten a kit where I go, oh, I actually like the tank that came with the kit. At first, I looked at it and thought that looked a little bit odd because it's so square like that. And is it always going to match up? But apparently, you can. So that's pretty cool. Again, I've got the red velvet cupcake in here, which is night from the essentials. And I've got this on stainless steel temp control, 450 degrees and 50 watts. Let's go ahead and get a vape. Wow, that is very nice. That's the notch coil that's in here. Comes out to 0.25 ohms, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm beside myself. I'm flabbergasted. I'm speechless as far as the e-liquid goes. That is the absolute best red velvet that I've ever had in a vape. And I, you know, no hype, man. I'm just telling you, this is the first time I've tried it. Let me get another one here. Wow. 
Holy guacamole. Um, I don't know if it's the uh, the coil itself that's producing such great flavor or the uh, the juice, you know, but it's it's really good. Sugar lips for days. You know, I'm a flavor whore from way back, right? So uh, if I find a good juice, man, I, I can only imagine that the rest of these are going to be really good. That morning's sounding better than the afternoon. I don't know. Mojitos aren't my favorite drink, but it smells really good. So it'll probably taste really good. Let me get one more here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into power mode now. All right, 55 watts, power mode with the notch stainless steel coil in here. Also very good, but this is a case where, you know, I don't use temp control a whole lot. I'm just not the, uh, the biggest temp control guy, but in this case, I'm liking that temp control a whole lot more. So I'm gonna put this back in temp control. Again, I got a 450 degrees and 50 watts. Let's get one more here. That is nice. I could take a nice, long, luxurious vape off of that. The flavor is just, mm, man, it definitely. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely on the sugar lips tip there, man. And, you know, this tank can hold a lot of juice. That big whole square area in there is all juice. And, it, uh, man, it's, it's doing really good. That was with the airflow all the way open. Of course, you can adjust your airflow or whatever you want. But uh, yeah, this is a winner, man. This is a winner. And so is this juice. You've done it again, Beard Vape Co. You know, I, I reviewed that punch recently, the Punch Co. Uh, that's also from Beard Vape. And that stuff was tasty. Uh, I'm thinking they're doing really good. In fact, I want one more. Man, just really great vapor production. And the flavor is just fantastic. Cuboid Mini, I'm digging it. Thanks again for watching and supporting the channel and all the social networks, man. We're over uh, 11,000 now on Instagram for followers. And I put a lot of pictures up there. I live by the beach in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So if you like beach pictures combined with vape, you might want to check out that Instagram. Got Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter as well. And don't forget, down in the description, I always have links for Casa and Not Blowing Smoke, two great organizations that help us to fight for our rights to vape. And it just takes a few minutes to join. It's free to do. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.